I and I'd welcome back to another Sakura Succubus 4 video. Now, where we left off specifically, um, let's just say a lot happened. Like, a lot happened. Um, and we're just gonna continue from there, man. Because that shit was a lot, I'll tell you. But anyways, let's get right back into it. It takes about an hour, but Fumi, Marina, and I finally crest the summit of this hill. From our vantage point, the rest of the beach is sprawled beneath us like a patchwork. All golden sand in a azure sea. The hike was a challenging one, but the view more than makes up for it, as does Hafumi's cooking. Here we are, dear. Say ah. Hafumi offers me a piece of rolled egg omelet pitched between her chopsticks. I oblige, my eyes falling shut, and Hafumi pops the piece of omelet into my mouth. Mmm. I chewed it on, savoring its soft, fluffy texture. It feels like biting into clouds. I'm left with somewhat sweet aftertaste when I swallow. It's moreish, and I'm already craving more of Hafumi's cooking. She makes cooking look so easy, but I have a lot of effort going into every single one of her dishes. She's incredibly thorough, and she makes all this for my sake. The picnic spread is laid out on a tartan blanket we brought with us. Hifumi really pulls out the stops and the shows. There's a huge array of different dishes, all of them staples for any lunchbox. In addition to the rolled egg omelets, Hifumi also made rice balls, the ginger chicken, and hamburg steak I requested. Octopus wieners, salted eggplants, and all sorts of other side dishes. I doubt I'll be able to eat all this, but it is good. I'm tempted to try. <laughs> Do you like it, dear? I love it. Goodness, you're so complimentary. I really do appreciate it. Hifumi giggles coyly. While covering her cheeks with one hand. Alas, I'm only too aware of my shortcomings. The egg omelets are not perfectly even, and I used a bit of too much oil. I only have to be more careful next time. You mean... You can make food that tastes better than it is? I can hardly credit it. Her cooking is so good already. If it leveled up even more, I'd run the risk of turning into real gluten. <laughs> I can't stuff myself on Hafumi's cooking all day. Maybe I should take up jogging with Hazel. It's hell to wake up, but uh... It might be a necessity if I don't want to pack on pounds. Is there anything you would like to sample next? Perhaps the Hamburg steak? I've been eyeing that up for a while. Yeah, you know me too well. I only know you so well as any wife should know her husband. Hifumi picks up the mini steak deftly in her chopsticks with the fluid motion of one who plays competitive Karuta, then offers it to me. I peck the steak from the chopsticks like a bird might, while Marina watches. You've fallen over Hideki too much, Hifumi. You're spoiling him. Perhaps I am, but how can I help it? When I love someone, I can only make them happy. There's nothing more important to me than Hideki's happiness. That's very sweet. But did you ever consider that it is because of your pampering you turned out so selfish? Oh 
don't know. You set her chopsticks down and frowns. That did not occur to me. No, I did not realize. But perhaps there is a grain of truth to what you say. You is my cousin and I care for her deeply. I was so relieved when she agreed to send the throne in my place. I was perhaps too fawning in subsequent interactions. I wish to become a trusted advisor she could rely on, or keen to big sister in the original figure. But I fear I was too lax with her. I let her get away with many petty cruelties, which slowly begin to escalate. It's all right, Ifumi. You can be difficult, but she's not all that bad. She's not as possessive as she used to be. She mailed out a lot. Thank you for consoling me, Hideki. It's very kind of you. Though, if you were to hold a grudge, I understand. If I had done a better job as you's mentor, I doubt she would have subjected you to the torments that she did. I am responsible for all that occurred in the succubus realm, however, indirectly. And I have felt some degree of guilt about it. Perhaps this is why I am determined to pamper you. I have been overcompensating and I never realized it. My affection is not stifling, is it? Eh, it's really fine, don't worry. Not fine. If it was an issue, I would say so myself, so don't fret. I don't play mind games with people. I never keep you guessing. Thank you. That means a lot to me, Hiki. Truly, it does. And I shall continue fawning over you, if you don't mind. That's just simply how I am. Ifumi shifts closer to me and impresses her chest against my arm. I wish you could always stay like this. I don't. I like keeping busy, and I know if I took too long of a break, I would begin to tire of it. I may not be the succubus princess, but in my own domain, I am in charge. All my employees obey me, and they cower before me. There's nothing more amusing than that. Issuing order is gratifying, as is having them fulfilled. But one's life cannot be nothing but work. We all need distractions, else we go mad. And you are a very fine distraction indeed, darling. Stop! Before you continue on with the video, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. Are you struggling with sleeping? Are you struggling with dehydration? Are you struggling with having energy in the morning, day and night when it comes to gaming? I got a solution for y'all. Head on over to Poggers. This is going to be one of the few drinks that they actually released and it's actually really, 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 really cool. Um, they even released their new flavor last month, which is Rocket Pop. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link in the description down below. Use creator code ZM for 10% off your order. Enjoy the video, everybody. That is adorable, ladies and gents. God damn. This man has got the sense of luck in his hands. Use it wisely. Marina shifts against my side, her fingers linking through mine while Hafumi nestles against my opposite arm. The pair of them leaning close, sandwiching me between the delicious warmth of their bodies. The breeze stirs her hair, so it brushes against my cheek. I can smell their shampoo when I inhale the taste Fumi's delicious homemade food lingers on my tongue while my other senses are completely enraptured by these two gorgeous succubi. When I tell you I was right about the fact that these two know what they're doing, they know what the fuck they're doing. Oh my goodness! The prime definition of romance. Oh my god! Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway. I really am lucky. Yeah, you don't fucking say. Fumi's food is good, but... Uh, my dear Hideki. 
Marina smiles wickedly. You are good enough to eat. Oh my. I have officially lost all hope in my own life. I knew it. I knew Marina was too good for her fucking words. Oh, I'm this close about to be fainting, but I gotta chill. I gotta chill. I gotta chill. I gotta chill. Whew, okay. Sorry, I'm. Ooh, God. Marina presses a kiss against my cheek, as does Hifumi. Their lips are soft, and their full chests are pressed up against my arm. I've ascended. This must be what paradise feels like. I've endured various trials and tribulations thanks to these sucking men. But I'm glad that they came into my life regardless. I wouldn't want to be without them. <laughs> Marina draws back, her voice throaty, and murmurs into my ear. Now I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, you flirty little shit! I knew it! Me too. I can't hold back much longer. I. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess. I love you, Hideki. And I want to pamper you much, much more than I have already. As your future wife, that is my duty. I'm going to fill you up with my love until you can't take another bite. That. Do you see what the fuck I was talking about earlier? It, it's like, I'm the only person that can read these two. Like, Marina, the fucking sassy boss of all fucking people, can literally fucking romance you into fucking anything. It's like a goddamn charm. And then you have Hifumi, a future wife that can cook. The nerdy personality is fucking gorgeous. Ooh! And then you have the fucking sweet and gentle motherly voice. Oh my god! You cannot even fathom the absolute gall of a actual fantasy. Mm. So that was a really reassuring ending. Or at least ending to this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button if you want new to the channel. It's been Zach, guys. Later. Yeah.